Christians should pray for Prince George to grow up gay. So claims Reverend Kelvin Holdsworth, who caused controversy by saying a gay monarch is the best way to fight homophobia in the church. Now, as much as I love the idea, I think Reverend Holdsworth is naive in his thinking. Just as having an African-American president didn't solve racism in the US, having a mixed-race duchess won't end racism in Britain, and neither will a gay king mean more acceptance of gay relationships. These firsts often cause an opposite reaction, where those on the other side of the argument think change has come too quickly or perhaps shouldn't have happened at all. Minority groups who don't have the same power, privilege or protection as the new figurehead can become targets. Let's be honest, if our Prince George does grow up to prefer princes over princesses, then he'll be by no means the first. In the end, what changes limiting beliefs is education and connection. This has to happen in our schools, places of employment, places of worship and our media. So where homophobia is concerned, we need to change hearts and minds and not just our figurehead. I mean, I don't really like the debate at all about whether it's Prince George is gay or not gay. I think, I think it's a four, he's a four-year-old yeah. kid. I, yeah, I think he should be yeah, kept out kept of it altogether. I, I think agree. it's a very unfortunate. I agree with I you. I also that. think the Reverend Kelvin Holdsworth is wrong. I think the change in my lifetime uh, has towards... Uh, homosexuality to women, is massive. It's yes, unbelievable yeah. how I much agree. has changed. Yeah. Um, it was interesting, I, and, and it will continue to change mm. as a generation, one generation dies off, another generation comes And by the time comes, Prince George is old enough to through. think about it. I mean, it was interesting. I was in Ireland for the, the weekend that uh, they had the referendum on gay marriage. Yeah. And what was interesting about that is people, f kids particularly, you know, kids, 20s, f flew home from everywhere Did to they? vote. And they wanted, they, what they were saying is, well, this is not the Catholic society that you think it is and yes. used to be. Yeah. And 60 odd percent voted in favour of gay marriage. And it was not, I don't think it was just about gay marriage, it was about an attitude of the church. Mm. Now, the Reverend Holds was going to have the same thing in the Church of England mm. in the end. I agree. That enough people will come through, enough of a generation will come through and say, we're not putting up with this anymore. Stop it. And I don't think a figurehead is what changes things. I think it happens at a much more grassroots level. It's, it's in terms of how you change society's thinking. And just one person doesn't do that. Well, I, I, I was so. talking the other day with my daughter and saying, if she had kids, well, she said, I don't care if they're gay or not. No, I have, yeah, of course she, not. Half our friends are gay. And it doesn't care in the slightest bit. Now, that was not where we all were 30, 40 no. years ago. And, back and it's to just Ireland, a fundamental change. Ireland has an openly gay head. You yes. know, they're, 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 their leader, Leo Varadkar, is openly gay. Well, so let's that's be honest. Says, as long as our children don't marry socialists, I mean, <laughs> we should be right. No, it's a joke, by the way, before we start getting letters to no, where yes, they go to. We'll be on the phone. Yeah, we go. A um, couple of things I want to run, but listen, I, I, I work in the media and I live in London, yes. so I'm a, in a fairly sort of Liberal, relaxed... Exactly. Uh, You're a metrosexual, yeah. uh, Possibly I am, whatever that might mean. <laughs> um, I've never been in a mini-metro, no, it's all lies. Um, you talk about... Is there... Do you have the sense, then, that there isn't acceptance? No, 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 no. And, and also, another point, the media needs to do more. Don't you think the media is an incredible welcoming and embracing. Well, precisely. So if you look well, at what... Well, you said it needs to do more. No, but you? I'm saying what happens, I said how the change happens is through people actually connecting with one another in terms of how we educate people and yeah. our media. So I'm not saying the media needs to do more. I'm okay. saying that's how the change happens. Okay. But you think and there what, is a lack of And what of Reverend tolerance. Calvin Holdsworth is talking about is within the church. And, of course, this debate is definitely a, a debate that's being had at the moment in I the see. church. And what I'm saying is I don't think... It's a figurehead that changes that. I think it's actually people to people. It's yes. that, that. Otherwise, there'd be no racism in America. Can Sorry. we talk a bit more about what he actually was trying to achieve by his, I thought, yes. rather tasteless yes. remark? Because in America, you still have church groups that what you know if somebody's gay within their community say yeah, let's sure. pray the gay yeah. away mm -hmm. and as greg pointed out in my lifetime homosexuality has gone from being illegal to being perfectly i think acceptable very perfectly acceptable yeah. but the, <laughs> not almost compulsory <laughs> <laughs> but june so what he was he wanted the church of england mm -hmm. i think you need yes. to explain yes, a bit church of england, the church yeah. of england does not allow no, gay marriage no. in church At other moment. other yeah. Uh, religions do allow yeah. gay marriage in church yeah. and obviously the head of the Church of England is the monarch. monarch Therefore precisely. what he's saying is yes. we want to have a gay monarch in order to, to drive this 
revolution within the church. But I'm saying he's missing a piece because actually I don't missing. think that I don't think that's what changes changes I, things. Are you telling me if, I, if I'm a vicar yeah. and I'm really quite right wing in mm. the church, mm -hmm. I'm going to be forced eventually to marry gay couples against my will? My belief in Christianity. That's not, that's well, not what no, no, no. But I'm asking. No, but I'm asking. No, so, but that, so, no. so that was so his ultimate so aim. In, so I'm in the church and I, I'm, I'm ferociously right wing. And I believe, I believe, I, I love the, I love the, I hate the sin and I love the sinners. So I love homosexuals, but I can't bear what I deem to be a sin, mm -hmm. right? And I'm a vicar. Yeah. Two gay men, two lesbian women. Uh, am I going to be forced to marry them then in your world? But, but that, I don't think that's the thing. No, but I'm asking you. Find someone else. No, but, I, but my point no, but, is, but, but I, I think, I believe it's I a sin. think I you really... can change hearts and no, minds no, but differently. I'm a vicar. Right? Yes. I'm play make believe, I know. Yes. I'm a vicar and I see homosexuality as a sin. Are you going to make me marry a gay couple? What I would say is that if we're having conversations within your congregation, your congregation are probably going to change their mind on this. No, issue. but what about me? Have I got to preside have I got to marry this couple of, of gay men or women? Or would it be like doctors well, no, and abortions? No, you know, it's a no, no, no. I wouldn't have to. No, no. Surely I the, think the Church of England already does that. With, within the Church. The Church of England does that with the ordination of women. I mean, you know, some bishops don't do have and to, some yeah. people don't. don't have to ordain women. Has, Michelle, what do you think? Sorry. Like, did, did you say, maybe I missed it, didn't, did you say in your intro you would love it? I would. The, I would love would a love gay what? monarch. Why? To me, it makes no difference. I couldn't care less if you're oh, gay, uh, straight, well, in the middle. I'm te as, as someone who has uh, many gay male friends, I'll, I'll be honest, I enjoy my time with them more than I do my straight male friends. So sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I well, I know what I'm doing this Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> but why is it relevant, someone's sexuality? I, I could not care who you guys around the table, no offence, but whether you choose, who you choose to sleep with, how often, in which way. I don't care. You do what you want. It's irrelevant to me. Yeah. I wouldn't judge you. Well, well, I'm not saying that you, I would judge the person. I'm saying I think Ray, I, have no, I think it would be a fantastic thing, but I don't think that it would create the change that Reverend Kelvin Holdsworth thinks it would. But the change is would. already coming by change. Like, exactly. So there's a younger That's mindset. What I'm saying. There's a younger mindset coming Precisely. through. Precisely. Everything so that I'm saying. It's, exactly, it's happening. It's exactly yeah. the point. I, 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 you don't need dramatic Rachel? things like this. No. It'll happen anyway. Exactly. Mm. That's my point. Yeah. Rachel? Well, I mean, I was just remembering that Justin Welby would, mm. went a bit Tim Farron when asked about gay sex, yes. and he clearly yes. has his personal views. Yes. Um, and that well, the he has church to be very in... careful, because I've interviewed him about ah, this. Well, what does he say? Well, he, he says, says you, he's... you've got to realise, he said, I'm the head of a faith where in some African countries, if yes. I come out and be seen to be in supporting way of homage, I am putting my congregation at risk of being beaten to death or being discriminated against. Oh, so he said, I have to be very... very not so much, he said, everybody thinks of the Church of England. Yeah. Well, it's not just, I've got people all around the world. Yeah, and that, that's is, why... No, but how no he's a very like, considered man. Yeah, he's a good is, bloke. He yeah, is a good bloke. Is well, he is a good bloke, sorry. coming out in support of it? Because he has, to to be, he has to be very but, careful how... In but certain, surely that's if, if members of those uh, congregations in those African countries come but out. Sometimes they're that's a different... No, but sometimes they're minorities. They're very small. When you've seen how Christians, Coptic Christians have been yeah. treated, they have to, he has to be very careful in which direction he takes the church, otherwise he's leaving his flocks in other countries, not this country, in a dangerous place. Yeah. Is it OK for somebody to have a view that actually they're not comfortable with it? If that's their personal view, they're not going around beating people up, but they're just not personally comfortable with it. Is I, that OK? Yes. But that's their personal view. Well, yeah, that's unless you're a baker in Northern Ireland, and then you get, <laughs> yeah. no, but then you get into all sorts yeah, of trouble because you won't bake a cake. Yeah, yeah. 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 Which is extraordinary. But yeah. the Archbishop of Canterbury, it's a difficult role, isn't it? Because yes. you, you've, you're holding, trying to hold together a church that actually doesn't... Does, part different parts of it anyway. don't believe well, running the same BBC, yeah. really, Greg. <laughs> uh, no, I, I think it's a lot harder than that. I think it's a lot harder than that. Can I actually just pick up the quote, um, Reverend Kelvin Holdsworth's actual quote? So this ah. is what he said, ah. and he's, he's since... Uh, apologised for it actually. So he said, if people don't want to engage in campaigning in this way, they do in England have another unique option, which is to pray in the privacy of their hearts or in public if they dare, for the Lord to bless Prince George with a love when he grows up of a fine young gentleman, which is what he said. Mm. But I just think that's someone trying to be overly PC. That's what I, when I hear that statement, I just think that's someone trying to say something that doesn't need saying in order to feel like they're doing something that's PC? Well, yeah. my point is I don't think it's actually going to get the results that he thinks it will. Mm. Okay.